to another Women Lead TV show brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. I'm Michelle Berquist, your host of Badass Business Women. And with me today is a badass businesswoman. I want to introduce Eva Venari, who is the founder of the Elevate Institute. She is more than badass as a businesswoman, and we're going to hear about it today. So Eva, say hello to all of our viewers. Hello. I'm so excited to be here. Well, we're excited to have you because you, and I know, I know we can have fun with those words because I'm having trouble saying it over and over again. Let's just go with that. But you are badass, and we all want to own that as women in business, right? We want to feel stronger, bolder, prouder at what we do. And I want our viewers to know what the Elevate Institute is. How are you badass? How am I badass? I found a way to turn my mess into a message. And without sounding mm, a little bit clever. cliche on that, it really is the truth. It was a result of mother of invention is need, right? Yeah. I needed to do it. Well, and knowing you, again, full disclosure, we kind of know each other pretty well, right? Mm -hmm. We've known each other a while. And, you know, this is January, and I always, you know, everybody at the beginning of the year, they always focus on the resolutions, which I hate that word. But health and wellness and vitality and energy, those are kind of some of the big words that are going on. That's your space. It so is. I'd love for you to share just the piece that really put you over the fence to being such a provider and an expert and a badass businesswoman in health and wellness. What's your what's your story, sister? My story is I'm not afraid to speak up and say that something's mm. going on with me and to appear, mm, some people think that in admitting that you have something going on that you could be weak. Mm. And instead, it's been a space of camaraderie. It's been a space where people have said, you, me too, I need to talk wow. to you about that. And, and that vulnerability has been the thing that has really brought me to a place of being able to help people. I think what I, what I love most about you is when you and I first met and you shared with me just the story of how the medical community, the healthcare industry was not getting the answers that you were looking for. So yeah. you went to be badass, and it's like you found your own answer. I mean, share a little bit about that, of how you just, you didn't accept, you know, just that answer because it wasn't working for you. What, what was it that you did, and what were the steps that you found your answer, and that's now where you focus your time and energy and badassness? And badassness. Well, <laughs> the, the one thing that I think carried me through and made things possible was the very thing that my parents hated about me. I questioned everything. Oh, that's good. I don't know what parent likes that. <laughs> but it's good for us as adults. Let's good for us as everything. adults, yes. yes. Question everything, and my stubbornness became my biggest tool. Yeah. I had this belief that if you give your body what it needs, it will heal itself. Right? Not such a shock. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be shouldn't such a be. shock, right? But that's not how we're trained. Mm -hmm. Trained meaning as patients. We're trained, oh, you've got an ache, you've got a pain, take it to your MD. Your MD is going to diagnose you and then bring you, you know, a, some sort of medication to make you better. And that didn't work when I kept asking, why am I having such problems with my fatigue? Why am I having problems with my weight? Why am I wow. having problems? And, and they would all turn it around on me and say, well, um, we as a community don't really know what's wrong with you. It's probably all in your head. One doctor physically turned his back on me and wrote, needs medical mental attention. Whoa. Because you should probably go see a psychologist. Because, and this was how many doctors into it for oh, this one? 10, 10, 11. Yeah, this is significant. Yeah, you go at one after another and they all want to take their blood tests and they all, that was fine. They says, hey Eva, you look great on paper. You should just go home, put your feet up and enjoy your life instead of thinking that you're always sick. And I said, something feels off. And you knew. And I don't know why. I just know this isn't the way I'm supposed to feel because but I also want you to share that it's like you you never dealt in the healthcare space. No. You weren't in health and wellness. You were in, in commercial interior design. So yeah. this you had you started from ground zero basically I did. on that. Yeah. And how did you go about that? I mean, just where did you turn? How what did you did you read everything or yes. what did you do? Oh, re okay. uh, voraciously. So I'm a um, person who likes to like question everything. Mm -hmm. And where do people go? We go to the internet. We're, we're, we're putting in search strings, what's going on. God well, love Google. Yeah, so I had ended up eventually with multiple diagnoses, chronic fatigue, anxiety, insomnia, depression. Mental. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> but it was going into things like perimenopause at the age of 28. Oh my God. Early onset menopause at 28. Really? It's going gray up here at the age of 20. I've been coloring my hair a long, long time to cover it up. Oh, wow. Right? No one said it had something to do with thyroid. So I was told I have hypothyroidism. 
a lot of women and men suffer from that, and they take medication for it. Hmm. So anyways, there was a lot of this ongoing one problem snowballed into a bigger problem and another problem. So because I was blessed with insomnia at 3 o'clock like in the I morning, I, it really was. It really was a blessing to be up and, and be focused and decide I don't want to take medications. If, if that's where you want to be, then this is, this is the path to go. It's like I put in a search string of all 30 different diagnoses and symptoms, and I came across this really obscure article about nutritional balancing, hmm. mineral balancing in the body, the physical aspect of if you want health, it starts with cell structure. And I went, this is exactly what I've been thinking. If you give your body what it needs, it'll heal itself. And I found a practitioner that was local to me. I called her up, and I do, I'm do. i weird. I get it. I called you her up. You are weird, up, but that's good. And I, I said to her, uh, I'm your next client. How do I do this? And it was that. And she said, come on in. Yeah. And then since then, tell us, I mean, this has evolved now for you. You offer this these services mm -hmm. to other women and men. Yep. You work with both. Yes. What are the services of the Elevate Institute? I know it's multifaceted, but for the health and wellness side. Everything starts with mineral analysis. And it's like, well, how do we find out what mineral analysis is? Like, where, what minerals? What are you talking about? We have um, a trash report in our hair, right? So this, there's information. A t wait, can I just say trash report, report in my hair? In your hair. Okay. Yeah. This, that's can my I street sense talk. It? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, just check. Like, I'm not so bad at so we'll no, no, no. Check it. No, no, no. No, I mean, it, you take a little bit of hair, it goes to the lab. The lab then sends back to me a, a, a bar graph. Oh, the sample of your hair. The sample okay, of your hair. Okay, got it. Right, so we're taking, and there's no pulling out. It's, it's all painless, mm -hmm. and, and it can be done from anywhere. I work with people all over the world. But I've heard of, I mean, pe not just you, but people yeah. have said that you can get so much of what's in your hair about what's in your body, right? Because, yeah. Well, it's a representation of what is the end result of everything you've eaten, drank, breathed, and what sits against your skin all day long, your body absorbs in. It doesn't, there's, there's no doorman that says, you're out, you're in. It all goes in. May I say I'm a little scared right now? Yeah. Just of, you know, what has gone in, and, and that scares me, but I'm just and, saying. It, you know what, you're still living and breathing, so there's hope. So Eva, so you know, in this process of you looking for answers, I mean, was it books? Was this with the internet only? It's like, did you talk to multiple doctors? I mean, how long was the process? And when you finally found, whoa, the answer, it's like, how glorious was this? And then what was the action from there? Because this is, people need to know this about you, right? That's what really, to me, makes you badass as a businesswoman is looking how the struggle was there, not getting the answers and going out and finding your answer and then turning it into helping others. So share a little bit about that. And I'm sorry, you're nodding. I'm like, keep nodding. Yeah, I'll keep, keep nodding. talking. Talk. That's what I do. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one turning point where I made the decision, I'm going to open my doors and make this a business was when my ex-husband passed away. Oh. So I was nine months into the process of utilizing the hair analysis to get my body back on track. And I noticed for the first time ever, not doing a fad, tr you know, at like a trendy diet or a, a flush or some other thing that has been out there. Lots of books will recommend a flush. A lot of, mm -hmm. you know, these people will, Dr. Oz, Oprah, take this supplement, take that supplement. Based on what? It's got to be scientific in nature. Right. Otherwise, anything can be good at any point in time, and other times it's not that good for you. And I learned that because as I went through these different processes, a solution would last for 30 days, and then after that, I would start to backslide. And you would feel build back, back to not feeling I would all feel those. worse. I would feel wow. worse than when I started. So this was the very first process that I found gave me permanent solutions. So I decided I'm going to become a certified practitioner in mineral balancing. Mm -hmm. So I did that, and then it was nine months in. I'm two weeks away from getting the phone call about my ex-husband passing away. He's on the phone with me. And he's complaining. He's got heart prolapse, hepatitis C, and he's got problems with iron toxicity. And um, diabetes was a brand new diagnosis. He just received that day, and he's complaining to me. And I said to him, I says, well, why don't you send me some of your hair? We'll figure this out together. You have to help me raise our kids. You know, oh this was gosh, yeah. part of what was going on. And he laughed at me. He says, no, 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 Eva, I'm fine. My doctors have me. I'm on medication. Yeah, he was on 17 medications. Prescribed, prescribed. Prescriptions, prescribed. yeah. So two weeks later, we, I get the phone call from the hospital. Your ex-husband has just had a massive heart attack. We couldn't revive him. Oh, my gosh. And we were trying to help him with some kidney stones. So he had all of these things that 
to an untrained ear seem unrelated, but they were absolutely all related to minerals in his body. Wow. Yeah. And so the minerals then, tell us a little bit how then for you, what is it you do with, at the Elevate Institute? Because I know you snip hair <clears throat> yep. for people. It starts with that. And you and analyze, right? right? Mm -hmm. What is your mineral balance? And, yep. Okay, yeah. talk more about your so services. So we're, we're making recommendations and coaching you through the process of changing the habits. Wow. People think, oh, I eat healthy. Let's look at that. Is it mostly salads? Is it mostly raw food? Are you able to digest it? So we can see physically with the hair analysis what's going on with your thyroid, with your adrenals, with your ability to process foods. Are you getting rid of toxins? There is no additional detox to do. There's no chelation to do. It's automatic. Uh, what's chelation? Chelation is yeah. getting rid of toxic metals in the body. A lot of people do IV do chelation, know. and it's actually like driving around on a on a tire rim when if you, after your tires have have popped you know great visual yeah thank you for that you're welcome yeah the idea is you want to make sure that your body's supported while you're engaging it to do what it's meant to do automatically give but, your body what it needs it heals itself and I love that because I think one of the things about you is you're not telling people to change their entire like I mean you can't go from point A to point B in those transitions without small changes small. right impactful mm -hmm. that's what I love you're not saying just go start eating you know Can't. wheatgrass and that's huh. even popular anymore I have no idea so is wheatgrass important now no okay thank you because I never like that stuff so that's good clearly yeah hello get away from the fads get away from the trends get away from the things that people call healthy mm -hmm. and really look at what's healthy for you and that's the difference between getting your hair tested and just going with the generic supplements. So I know we only have a couple of minutes yes. left, but it's like you're an author. Yep. It's like this is what you do. I'm like, give us a couple of tips for people that are our viewers and say, if you've got this going on, this would be a really great way for you to kind of consider maybe it's the mineral piece for you yep. and how do you want to be contacted? So oh. look right into that camera right there and let <laughs> people know. Right there. There's a really easy test you can take. If you're listening to some of the things I mentioned, like going gray early or having thyroid problems and they're ringing a bell for you, Go to theelevateinstitute.com, and on the very front page, it says, yes, take me to this test. You can answer 20 questions about you. What is coming up for you that could be showing a sign of mineral imbalance? And then the steps forward come to you in an email and response if you need help. Super cool. And you're not even done there. I want to give you a chance. You've got a couple of huge like excursions and adventure travel going on, but I'll relate to health and wellness. What I'll relate Peru, to it. Belize. Belize. I, I was thinking Italy. I was going to say Brazil, but I knew that was wrong. Yeah. No, I, I have um, a desire to work in corporate spaces, and that corporate space moved into giving retreats. And the retreat mm. idea of collaboration with these different mineral um, healing centers was to allow for people to have those retreats at the healing center. So I developed and founded a whole new company called Illumination Tours, where we bring the ancient civilization into health and wellness of the body on site at these different places. And our first trip is in March. We're going to be going to Peru, of course. Peru. Machu Picchu. Say it right. Peru. Peru. <laughs> I think that's how you're supposed to say it. At any rate, is I mean, one other tip, like if you if you if we get off of here and you are badass, by the way, as a badass businesswoman, what's one thing that, that an individual can do that really will make a big change in their health and how they feel and and I know there's so many fundamental pieces, but I know you've got kind of a number one thing. Number one is water. So do not drink with your meals. Give yourself a wide berth 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after. It completely helps your digestion when you don't water yourself down. No soda, no tea, no coffee. Water. Just And not even water when you eat. No, not when you eat. Okay, there you have it. Anyway, I want to say thank you for being my lovely Badass Business Women guest today. Thank our viewers. We will be back again for another Women Lead TV show brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. And for today, we'll see you on the next show. Oh,